Montague's message, March 29, 2015. It was never my intention when I pass to the world of spirit to become the one who opens your minds to your true history. By doing so together, we can rescue your planet from those among you who are determined to destroy humanity and take over the planet for themselves. They have shown their hand many times, but you fail to understand what was actually happening. You have only to read Alexandra Solzhenitsyn's first-hand account of the atrocities that openly took place in the 1900s, during the lifetime of many of you. It is always hidden in plain sight. This goes to show that it is happening every day, and you are blind to it. By choosing to be blind to it, you become an accomplice. That is a serious matter. Veronica and I are not the only ones who are trying to open your eyes. There are many who have researched and found the truth. They share it with you. To deal with this great deception, one has to go back to ancient Ireland, when Rome and others began its takeover. From the writings of Connor Macdari. The hierarchy at Rome knew that the Irish Church of Isa Christ, Jesus Christ, had established Christianity or sun worship on the Western continent. The systematic suppression of facts, which is almost beyond belief, of the history of the Irish achievements, is almost shamefaced and barefaced, carried on by agencies already mentioned. It is the plainest fact that Ireland's history has been written by her enemies. The policy of destruction, suppression, and alteration which was pursued in Ireland by Rome, she also put into execution on this western continent. In Mexico, as elsewhere, anything that was found resembling Christianity was destroyed, if it was possible to do so. The Roman priests destroyed all the books they could find, and those they preserved, they altered. They deleted whole chapters from the writings of the native historians who wrote the history of Mexico. When we consider that the Irish were the Phoenicians and also as we have been shown, that the Hebrews were the priestly cult among the Irish race, it makes very plain the identity of these peoples as one and the same. Investigators have noted the relationship between the Hebrews and the Phoenicians, attributing it to the spread of Hebrew culture and influence among the latter. This seems to be as far as they have been able to go toward enlightening us. They have left us to infer that this connection was due to two peoples occupying two adjoining sections of country, the Hebrews occupying the interior pastoral country and the Phoenicians the sea coast. Those investigators seem to have drawn their inferences accordingly. The Phoenicians and the Hebrews were one and the same race, as much so as two brothers living in the same household or father and son in the same family. These are but trick names for the Irish race. Ireland was their seat, capital, and home country, not the eastern coast of the Mediterranean or Syria. This exposes a major deception of history and surely will help to give a clearer perspective of the past and a quickened realization of the fraud which has been imposed upon us. This deception has caused confusion among scholars and investigators. But the identity of those three races as being one is a fact given out in these pages for the first time, with the positive assurance of truth. The disclosures made here will be of aid to future investigators and philologists in tracing and accounting for the changes which have been made in the three alphabets, said to have belonged respectively to the Irish, Hebrews, and Phoenicians. They are but variations of the one. The Irish were the inspired authors of Christianity which is plainly evident from what has been unfolded herein, and their rites are still observed in the disguised Christian sun worship of the present day. It all goes to show that there has been a deception practiced on the Christian people of the world, a terrible and cruel deception. The reason for this is no longer a secret. And in honor of him, for his glorification and worship, they built those great and magnificent pyramids, towers, obelisks, sphinx, and temples. In brief, their works and ideals can be recognized everywhere, from the rock-walled temple ruins of the Angkor Wat in distant Cambodia to Siam, from Elara and the cave temple of Elephanta in India to the islands of the Pacific, from Ireland to Egypt from Syria to Peru, Yucatan and Mexico. The character of their works cannot be mistaken. The facts are so clear that they cannot be mistaken or set aside. They are convincing and positive proofs. 
they proclaimed to the world that both the religious institutions and civilization which existed on this western continent for thousands of years were brought here by the priests of the ancient Irish sun worship and religion of Isa Christ, the sun god. It has never been more important to know and understand the truth. Massive changes are occurring, and you need to protect yourselves and your planet. It is a clear win or lose situation. Together, you can win so easily. Do not make it hard for yourselves. We in spirit have been planning your awakening for some time. We needed key people like Veronica to be in place to serve as intermediaries. When you fully understand what has been done to deceive you in order to take control, the whole picture will become absolutely clear and you will happily take the necessary steps to take back control of what is rightfully yours. You will save planet Earth for future generations to enjoy in peace and love. Please continue to send love and light to London and all the ley lines, to enable them to release their wonderful energy for the benefit of mankind. My love and gratitude go to all who assist in this work. It is more valuable than you realize. Please also send love and light to those who have missions to carry out in order to rescue humanity from destruction. Together, you are the 99%. You can do it. They cannot succeed without your assistance. It is time to say no. Do try to take some time for you. You need to rest. Give yourself a break. You need it. The attacks are exhausting. Soon, my dear, they will be a thing of the past. My love is yours forever. You're adoring, Monty. Channeled by Veronica Keen. MontagueKeen.com